This is a video on how to collect, store, and then return your cortisol salivates. So in the beginning of the study, you'll be receiving a bag such as the one shown, and again, at the end of the study, identical bag. This bag is going to include your de-identifying participant number, as well as four salivates, one, two, three, four. For the four different cortisol salivate samples, we'll be asking to receive from you, the participant. So when you open it, you will find salivate one. The rest will be labeled two, three, and four for the different times that you'll be accessing it and using the salivate. You are asked not to participate in any physical activity or caffeine intake the day prior to your salivate use and saliva collection. So opening up salivate one, you'll pop the blue top and you'll put it in your mouth and just gently suck and bite on it for about two minutes. And then you'll return it back to the salivate and you'll immediately store it in your freezer. The day of the sample collection, wake up and access salivate one. It's important to emphasize at this time that during the first three salivate collections, we ask that you intake no liquids, foods, or brush your teeth. To put this into a practical example, if you were to wake up at 6.30 a.m., you would immediately access and use salivate tube one. 30 minutes later at 7 a.m., you would use salivate two. And then after that, 7.30, you would use salivate tube three. Again, with no liquids, food, or teeth brushing in between. Your final salivate collection will be immediately prior to going to sleep. For example, if you were to go to sleep at nine o'clock, we ask that you intake, again, no liquids, foods, or brush your teeth 30 minutes prior to that time as well. So for example, at 8.30 p.m. That concludes your four salivate collection times. So as for returning the salivates, you have two options. You can return it at your regularly scheduled appointment at the opioid-based office treatment program, OBOT for short, or you can return it at our collection center after contacting the principal investigator, Jeff Stollinger, whose contact information is listed on the salivate return sheet that is gonna be provided to you. He will store it in a freezer that only he has access to for security reasons and for your privacy concerns.